jullie pretty busy vandaan? Kijk kom melk. It's finally blinds install day. Um, we have been living without blinds since we moved in, which is probably like just over a month now. Henry was constantly telling me like, when are we getting the blinds? Like, I don't know where to get dressed. I don't know, <laughs> like I have no privacy. And so we finally ordered the blinds and they're being installed today. And we're doing two of the three in the space. So we're doing the darker one in our house and the lighter one in the office and in mom, mom and love's flat. I'm very curious to see what the, the, the darker one is going to look like because like I keep going back to that one even though it's not the obvious one or I want to say the most timeless one or the simpler one to go for but I keep going back to the darker one so hopefully it'll pay off. I'm just going to go greet the guys quickly. They're busy in mom and love's flat. Just need to pop a tic tac because coffee breath is never pleasant. We'll see how it goes and um, how it looks and then... You know, at least we're getting closer to actually sorting the house out inside. And we had a friend sleep over by us uh, Wednesday evening. And he was like, you know what? I liked your previous house better because it was more cozy and, you know, a lot more going on on the walls and stuff. And we told him, um, we haven't really done anything inside the house yet. We've literally just moved the stuff in. We haven't hung anything on the walls. We haven't really styled the house yet. So, I mean, how it is at the moment is just temporary. Um... So, I mean, there's still a lot we want to do inside the house to make it more cozy and inviting. And as we have time, we'll take it one step at a time and take you guys along on the process. But for now, let's go have a look at the blinds. Hello. Sorry. Hello, hello. Oh, wow. Yes, so. Take them where I did. Yeah. So we can make up screw. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In a round of mumfar. Okay. Perfect. I think it looks cool. With the fat, yes, yeah. We don't need to redo these stairs. That is a nice clear name. Oh, yeah. It feels so warm. Legend. Perfect, I love it. While the guys are hanging the blinds, they're currently in the office upstairs. I want to show you guys quickly a few stuff that 
we got on our thrift trip date yesterday. Henry and I decided to take yesterday off. It was Friday. Um, he's been bugging me to take off for a while now because I need it. And we went thrift shopping in Somerset West. I'll see if they are actually online. Um, otherwise, I'll try my best to show you guys where these thrift stores are, where we purchase these things. But one of them, the biggest place that we went to was The Shed in Somerset West. So I just wanted to show you um, what I'm unpacking. I want to show you what the prices were firstly. So the bargains that I got and the beautiful pieces of character and it's just so pretty. So I wanted to show that to you guys before I unpack and wash everything. Um, I feel like it could be quite valuable if you guys are looking for a fun thrift day. The plan is actually to do a thrift, a proper thrift trip across Cape Town for about four days to take my stepmom with me, mom-in-law, and whoever else wants to join. We just need to keep enough room in the car for shopping. Otherwise, we need to go with two cars. And I want to do like a trip across Cape Town and take you guys on a vlog with me to show you the different secondhand stores that we have in the area and the type of things that you can find there and the type of prices you can look at there. And just take you along on the journey because I think it's quite fun. Um, a lot of I see a lot of people doing that overseas, but we don't have a lot of information like that for Cape Townians or just people in South Africa in general that wants to come to Cape Town to have a holiday or vacation and enjoy thrift shopping. I feel like I'm talking so quickly, like I'm on fast forward. I'm sorry, I'm very excited. Let me show you what I got. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I got from the shade. So I'll pop the, the Google screenshot over here of the shade and their information. I discovered this thrift store about, I think a year or a year and a half ago, and I've only been, this was my third, third time going back there, I think, or my second time, I don't remember. But it's just such a pleasure walking in there. And this is one of the places I'll go again when I do like the whole thrift vlog to show you what it looks like inside. And um, But for now, you'll get the, the idea of the kind of stuff that they have there and the price point that you're looking at. So I'm gonna start with a few things. So number one is this very old piece of wood. Look how pretty that is. It's an old, just an old board. It's got like these bracket stuff at the back. But when I saw this, I told Henry like, we need to put this against the wall as a piece of art. Obviously I'm gonna clean it a little bit and I'll just treat it with some termite protective wood stuff I have in the garage. So I'll just paint two layers over it just to make sure that there's no cohas in here. And then we'll put it against the wall. We already know where we want to put it. Was the guy to be so tiny made? Yeah. Okay, go like that. Very nice. Very nice. Is it now spread? Okay. <laughs> 50 rand or 80 rand but because of everything we bought at the shed the owner told us she'll give it to us for free i think this has been standing there for quite a long time and no one really noticed its potential and she was very happy when she saw that we are finally taking this thing off her hands so we got a piece of art then these i'm quite excited about it's like rusty steel wire baskets um, you've got the large one, and then you've got the small one. Look how cute she is, and so rusty and old. Obviously, I'll wash them. I didn't mind the rust because the idea that I had for these baskets is to do our chicken eggs in there. Do the bigger eggs in here and the silky eggs in here because it looks pretty, and obviously, the rust won't be a problem because the eggs are on a shell. This one was 75 Rand. That's like a really good price. And this one was 115 Rand. So can you just picture eggs in these on an open shell farm pantry? I haven't even checked what it's gonna look like yet. Henry got this cute little cage thing in my bob. Um, and we currently have these two old wicker baskets in the bird cage for the quails. And we decided to replace the baskets. One, we have one. Okay, I don't know what he's saying. But um, anyways, we want to make this the quail's new home inside the birdcage. Which is quirky and fun. And obviously we're not going to close the door. But they get to close the door if they want some privacy. Give some options. And then... 
One of my happy places, I have a lot of happy places. One of my happy places is wood stuff and terracotta stuff. Okay. We went to, where was the first store we stopped at? We bought stuff. Oh yes. Our first stop was this shop. I don't remember the name, so I'm gonna show it to you over here. They have a lot of vintage antique, kind of French inspired items. They're a little bit more on the pricey side, but they have small items like these items I'm gonna show you now, which is affordable and it's the type of stuff that I'm usually looking for. The first thing I got there was this little tray with three wooden bowls. I love wooden stuff. This is not the type of wood that I would usually go for. This is actually an old Mr. Price item. Um, but I thought, hey, it's 85 Rand, it's a bargain. If I'm not gonna use it, I'll clean it and maybe give it to someone as a present or donate it to someone that really loves wooden stuff. Or I might just use these ones without the tray for some olives, butter, blueberries, nuts, stuff like that. Because we love making charcuterie platters. The second thing I got from them was, it's not this rolling pin, but it was a wood rolling pin that I gave to mom and love. I think I paid 165 Rand for it. It's really cool. It looks almost exactly the same as this one. And the third thing I got there was this very hard wooden, almost like a Japanese bowl. I really like it. I think it was 10 Rand. And that's, I mean, it's really cheap. I don't know why people price the wooden items so cheap. Maybe I shouldn't say that because you don't want them to push the price up. Because I'm always looking for wooden stuff and it's always really well priced. But wood is expensive. Should I post this? I don't want you guys to put the price up. I'm really loving the good prices. And then the shed. And I'm going to go back for more. There was more stuff I wanted, but I thought, hey, let me save some for the thrift trip. I don't know what's happening with my personality, but I'm getting very excited here. For 25 Rand, I got this stunning, it almost looks like a wonky wear type of bowl. It's not, but it's got the nice green texture there. Um, and I thought it was quite a nice bowl if you're making a little salad or if you have some bread rolls you want to put in there or a side dish or whatever. I think it's a really nice size, even for chips. Thought it was a really nice size it's not too big and not too small it's a happy medium then i got this little um enamel milk jug and this is not my style but i had my stepmom in mind in lanza she loves red and she loves enamel stuff so i thought i'm gonna get this for her and it was only 165 rand and i think she's gonna like it i'm gonna give it to her this afternoon then i got this beautiful jug ceramic i think it's ceramic or clay i don't know I don't know what it is, um, but I love the shape and I love the fact that it gives a little old vintage vibe. If you want to do some orange juice in there or even milk or water or anything, I really just loved the style of this jug for 165 Rand. We're just pouring out some orange juice, freshly squeezed at home. If you can see my oranges there, I need to actually squeeze them. Then I got two very large wooden spoons for 35 rand each. They have definitely been used before. So I, I heard that apparently you can clean your wooden spoons by boiling vinegar and salt and then putting your spoons in there and just keeping the spoons in there while it's rapidly boiling because that removes all of the oils and stuff from the wooden spoons. Little nerves to do it. I don't want to know how gross my wooden spoons are, but I think we're definitely going to have to do it with these two as well. They're quite big. They're not going to fit in my utensil holder next to my stove. So I had the idea of maybe just mounting them on the wall like so for some farmhouse decor. And for 70 Rand to have a wall decor, it's not a bad day. We've been watching MasterChef Australia lately and it's awakening all of our creativity in the kitchen and we really want to start exploring a bit. So I've been doing the two ingredient flatbreads and stuff like that and it requires a rolling pin. I do have one, a pine one with two red handles that I got from Mum and Love um, years ago. Probably only used it like twice ever. But I wanted one that's a little bit more nice. So I'll still use the one that she gave me but this will be the one that's going next to my stove on display because it's pretty. And that's 145 Rand. Which... Then I got myself a little label, which 
I think she also gave free. I think it was probably on the shelf for a long time. That little bubble doesn't work that well anymore. Um, it kind of just like either goes left or right. It never centers because the whole thing is bent, but that bubble still works. So I was thinking like this is, has a lot of character. It would be quite nice to use this just to make sure that all my picture frames um, in my house or on projects are level. So this is a nice thing to carry around. Um, otherwise, I'll just use it once again as decor somewhere because it's a nice color wood and I love the tones of the metal in there as well. Are you getting the idea that I like wood stuff? Then I've got this little thing, which I think it's like for those herb crushes that you get. It didn't come with a bowl, but I might just, you know, one day see a nice wooden bowl that I could use this with. Because um, this one's not going to be deep enough. Uh, but I thought this was quite a nice find. And I think, I don't even think she charged me for it. If she did, it's probably like five or ten rand. Um, but this is quite nice. Very pretty. Then a good old nutcracker. It's like a nice old heavy stainless steel nutcracker. Henry told me that we apparently have one. I've never seen it. But um, if we find it, then we have two. I just thought this was a pretty color. Then I love me some wooden trays. And I love, I am in love, in love with this tone of wood lately, which is like a chocolate tone. You can see it matches my lights. It's a tone that I want to go with our stairs. It's the tone of our kitchen counter stools that I am receiving in the next three to four weeks. This is really just a rich, warm, cozy color of wood and it's nice when you pair it with lighter wood as well so everything shouldn't just be this color when you pair it with like the light oak tones or um, pine tones that have been de-yellowed <laughs> kind of turned a bit more beige or gray this tone goes really nicely with it it is a very nice tray for once again for bread or chips or a cheese platter and i don't know what the price was on this but also i don't think it could have been anything more than 30 rand then i got this chunky baby um, of a wooden bowl which can be used for salad and that's what i'm going to be using it for today i'm going to make an asian coleslaw to take with to the braai with my brother and them this afternoon and we're going to be 15 people so i think this is a 15 people size salad bowl i just need to wash it properly obviously and this was 175 rand what a bargain just look at that look at the age on it look at the size look at the tone of the wood it's absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to use this. You can even use it as a fruit bowl or just keep it on your shelf. You know, you can also put it against the wall like this for wall decor. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how you would fix it to the wall. I think you'd like brackets or something, but it would be quite a cool piece or you can make a light out of it. Hey, look at me be all creative. You can just get a cup and cord from Bright's, drill a hole through it and use it as a lampshade. Wouldn't that be cute? But for now, it's going to be a salad bowl. So that's it for the thrift haul in Somerset West yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it's helpful and I hope you guys go visit these stores because I think you're definitely going to find some great treasures there and they don't market themselves that much. So I thought, hey, let's just help market them a little bit, get it out there and have people enjoy giving items a second chance and having items in your house that is warm and has a story and brings in character. So let me wash these items and then I'm gonna wait for the guys to come install the blinds in our house because I can't wait to see it in.
Yeah. yeah. We were going to build one. Want it? Yes. But it's fine. We're still going to have a look. No, no, no. We're still going to have a look. Okay, cool. We might take more stuff. So. Okay, you take your time and when you're ready, you just shout. Trap gaat over en mag zeker als stevig. Je moet trap is het trap in me. Als hij stevig. Oh, nee. Wat is er met die ding, man? Wat is er met die ding, Is it like this way foot sticker? And if you cut down the middle, you can use it as cobbles. It's a ring sizer. Something. Flower seed, 320 gram. Is it bad, me? It's not as cool like in the mirror. It's not cool like in the scanner. Je weet niet dat ik niet vrouw ben, dat ik niet weet wel. Kom maar. Nee, je vrouw die moet niet weten. Ik weet het niet. Ik weet het niet. Ik weet het niet. Maar ik heb alles. Ik heb alles. Dus alles voor me. Ik ben een flip expert. Ik moet iemand te maken die moet doen. Ik ben een stoppen en ik heb timers en alles. En ik dus om geld te boeren. Dat wat gedaan is. Hoeveel mensen al weten kan dat doen? Hou. Hey! 
Давайте кружку перемею. Thank you, morning. Come on, I go. You know, I'll throw up on you. 